Hello third grade artist, this is Mrs. Kramer. It's Friday and I wanted to check in with you about your assignment. It was to create a blind contour drawing. Um, so I wanted to show you how I've been going about creating my own and a couple of uh, tips and tricks in case you're having a hard time not looking at your paper while you're drawing. So I gathered a piece of paper, a pencil, you can do this in your sketchbook, you can use um, scrap paper from recycling, really anything. I just want you to practice drawing in this style. For my object, I picked out a glue bottle. They're everywhere in my art room right now. And what I'm going to do is put it up here on my computer, and I'm going to only look at my object, the glue, while I uh, draw on the paper. So you might see part of it. All right, <clears throat> so this is the hardest part, is not looking at your paper as you draw. Okay, I want you to only look at your object and draw what you see. So I'm going to put my pencil to the paper, and I'm going to only look at the glue bottle, and here I go. I'm going to look at the bottom of the glue bottle, line over, and then as I go up with my eyes, I go up with my pencil. Curve it up at the shoulders and bring it back down. All right, this is really hard. I want to look, but I'm not going to. Now I want to get that sticker inside. So all I have to do is just keep that line going, bring it up a little, and now I'm going to uh, draw this part of the sticker that's on there. And it's around, up, over, and down. All right, now I gotta get to the top of my glue bottle, which is up here. And so to get there, I can't lift my pencil, so I'm gonna go, oops, I almost looked. I'm gonna go back up the side of the glue bottle, over the shoulders, and now I wanna get the cap there. And I know it's kinda of rounded, it's made out of a couple parts. All right, to get to the tip where we open it, I'm gonna to have to retrace those steps as best as I can and get kind of that pointed part. All right, I'm gonna stop there, lift my pencil, and I'm done. Wow, that's pretty interesting. It sort of looks like a glue bottle. It's not exact, but I tried my best, um, and that's okay. What I want you to do is keep going, draw some more. You can fill up this paper, flip it over, pick a new object, just have fun with this. Now, if you're struggling to not look at your paper, right, the blind contour part, I came up with some ideas. So, let me get, I'll flip this over. You can get a um, paper plate like this and poke a hole through there, right? Put your hand underneath, and now see how that blocks the paper? So even if I do accidentally glance down, I won't be able to see it and kind of cheat. So I'm gonna try it one more time. All right, I got my hand under there. Look, I'm feeling for the edge of the paper. There we go. All right, so I'm ready. Here we go. I'm going to look at the bottom of the glue, and as my eyes look at the glue bottle, I'm also moving my hand in my lines. Up the side, over, and back down. All right, I'm going to try to go inside and draw that sticker. Go up, over, up, over, down. All right, I'm going to go back to that corner. I think I'm there and follow that side line of the glue all the way up and over. And now I want to get the, the, um, the cap of the glue. So I'm going to go up and around. Maybe this time I'll just make the triangle while I'm up there, the very tip, and just bring it down. And then stop at the shoulders. All right, let's see. Whoa, I was really off on that one. <laughs> uh, but as you can see, this is a uh, fun experimental art. It's just um, making the point that we really need to look at what we're drawing and draw what we see, not what we think we see. Um, so I hope you have fun with this. Again, if you don't have a paper plate, here's some other ideas. You could also take a piece of uh, newspaper or I like the magazines because they're thick. Poke a hole, put your hand under and draw. See how that blocks it. Another idea is from recycling. I love recycling. You can get a, a thin piece of cardboard cereal box poke a hole and again see how that hides my drawing and that way you can't peek. So have fun with this. I'm really excited to see what you guys um, create. If you want to take more time, make a bunch. Take a picture of your best one. But if you want to go back and add color, you can. I had some artist friends recently this week outline their lines that they drew and then they filled it in and tried to color it um, with the colors of the object. All right, So try it a few times. Maybe even do it with your family and your friends. It's a lot of fun. All right, I look forward to seeing your submissions.